Yo, what's up with y'all? It's JD Travel Stenix. And uh, back with another quick video. Topic of today's video is leveling up and is it always a good thing? So, I'm talking about this topic because me and one of my homeboys was on the phone the other day. Uh, one of my homeboys in California, we was just chopping it up about relationships and talking about how it seems to me like nowadays a lot of people are always looking to level up. Never content with the relationship that they're actually in. There's always a flaw in somebody. There's always somebody out there who looks better. There's always somebody out there who has more money. There's always a better and more ideal situation. Should we always be looking to level up? Sometimes yes, and sometimes no. And what I mean by that is that if you're with somebody who's loyal, if you're with somebody who's holding you down, if you're with somebody who's playing that position and who's supporting you, then what's the purpose of leveling up? You know, having a roving eye while you're in a relationship can be a dangerous thing sometimes. Yeah, plenty of beautiful people on this planet. I've been in relationships, and I've had a roving eye, and I've seen these beautiful women all over the place. And you know what? That could be a distraction from your current relationship. Now, recently, the relationships I've been in, I haven't really had too much of a roving eye. I've actually been trying to be in the present with my relationships and kind of just appreciate the person who I'm with. Now, I'm single right now, and that's not necessarily due to the fact that I've had a Roman eye and that I've always been looking to level up. It's just because I'm really focused on my purpose right now, and I feel like, you know, maybe being in monk mode, so to speak, is the best mode for me to be in. But I would say that, you know, we should always take into account that if we're with a loyal person, and we were somebody who's holding us down, plays a position, then we should always look at what can we actually look at in the relationship to view the positives opposed to viewing the relationship as a negative. And honestly, as a man and as somebody who has a lot of friends and stuff like that and talks about these type of issues all the time, is that when you're focused on your purpose and you're focused on your goals, you're not really out always looking to level up. A lot of times when you get caught up in uh, always checking out other women and seeing if the grass is greener, thinking if the grass is greener on, is greener on the other side of the fence, a lot of times the grass isn't greener on the other side of the fence. Yeah, that other girl, she might be more attractive or you know she might have a better body, but she also might be more high maintenance. Or she also might not be loyal, as loyal, loyal as the girl that you got. Or she might not be a good cook or whatever it may be, you know what I mean? So just appreciate what you have and that goes for anything in life. If you have a job that has good benefits and you know you love the people that you work with then you should appreciate that job you don't always have to be looking for more money you know what i mean because with more money might come more problems and that could be leveling up in any aspect of life but really what made me think about this was just thinking about relationships and thinking about the people that we have in our lives and being thankful and also being present because another thing is when you have that role of an eye you can't really, you're not really as present and you're not really enjoying the person that you're with at the moment as much as you really could be because you're always thinking about something else and you're always thinking about, oh, well, this could be better. At the end of the day, perfect is the enemy of good. There's no such thing as a perfect person, so we might as well all forget about it. We're never going to find that perfect person because we're all human. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Your girlfriend's not perfect. Your mother and your father aren't perfect. You know what I mean? Nobody's perfect, so there's nobody perfect on this planet, so you're never gonna find that. If you have somebody good and somebody who treats you well, then hey, thank you for it. Now, on the other hand, sometimes you do need to level up. Sometimes you might be with somebody who's abusive, physically or mentally. Somebody. Sometimes you're with somebody who's uh, distracting you from your goals. Somebody, sometimes you're with somebody who's extremely negative. Sometimes you're with somebody who brings out the worst in you. Now, in these type of situations, you don't necessarily need to level up, but you might need to get out of that relationship. You might actually need to spend some time by yourself and work on yourself for a little while, or just take the time until the right person comes along. But anyways, I'm not necessarily somebody who's a relationship coach, but uh, it's just something I was thinking about. If you guys have any uh, anything to add to the conversation, Go ahead and hit the, the comment section. Go ahead and leave a comment. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for some other content. I got more fitness content coming out. I got more travel content. I got some epic travel content that's been coming out. 
a little bit after New Year's. I'm extremely excited about this new year coming up. And uh, also have some more content coming out with conversations like this. Another thing before I, before I do bounce out, I just want to talk about 2020 is coming up. It's a new decade coming up. So we got plenty of technology. And another thing that made me think about how people are always trying to level up nowadays is that we do have so much technology. And then you can find somebody else to kick it with with the swipe of a finger. You know what I mean? You don't even know you need to go out in the real world to find somebody new. You can just go on a date and app, swipe right, and boom, you're already connected with somebody else. Next thing you know, you're chopping it up. And this person seems like the best thing in the world. Or you go on Instagram, you slide in, you see a pretty girl, you know what I mean? You slide in the DM, she responds. Shit, you feel like, man, you might have found the right chick. But you never know. You never know what type of person you're dealing with. This is the internet. Um, back in the days, people actually had to go out and meet people. So it wasn't just that easy just to swipe right on a date map or to uh, go on Instagram or Facebook and connect with people that way. So anyways, y'all, that's all I got to say for, for this video. I'm out here chilling in YQC right now. 